Hey guys, Big Rainy Zero 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 here. So I'm gonna teach you how to make a rain or some kind of circular rain shape where it's a circle but it's hollowed out in the middle that which makes like a rain shape. I'm I'm not sure how else to describe it. Or maybe like a wave or something along those lines. So what you need to do, which uh, I'm use I'm mostly used to F3X, so um, I'm gonna try to find this toolbox. And I don't you can either find a building kit, but I'm just gonna insert a random part. Um it's kind of up to you on how to do this, so let's go ahead and insert new part. So now that we have our part right here, I go ahead and insert a uh, cylinder mesh t into this, which you can find that through, um, what is it? Advanced objects, okay, so it's taken a while. So you, you select that and then you insert a cylinder mesh and then there you go. And it resizes into a certain size so again we're using f3x you can do this through studio um i can i guess i can use it through here too um so we can just make it this size then this is why i kind of like f3x better because it tells me what increments i'm resized by all right so now that we have that you can make this any size you want and after you do union this and negate it and stuff it's gonna be um you can't really resize it or anything so go ahead and take another part and Make it make it slightly smaller, whatever size you want. Um, so I if I ha if I have a nine by nine in the interior and a ten by ten, that means there's going to be like a one by one outline on it. So let's go ahead and make it like nine point five, so we can make a super thin one. So now what you want to do is go to model and then negate this part. As you can see, there's kind of a red thing right there, and then you select both of them and you union them like that. And now you have your little range shape and. This is kind of like a general solid modeling tutorial, I guess. You can use this in pretty much anything, but rain shapes are really useful for a lot of things, um, like in a variety of buildings. They can be used anywhere, um, to be exact, but they're really useful, and you can customize them however you want. You can make that inner outline 8, 9, different sizes, stuff like that. You can make this 20 by 20. Um, when you resize it, it doesn't really work out too well, unless you do it like this. But, of course, you don't really want to do it because it's going to be really inaccurate. But I think that'll be pretty much it for you guys. There shouldn't be that many collision issues issues with it. Um, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, leave some comments. Sorry if I kind of lost my way along that. But nice and simple for you guys, and I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know what other tutorials you guys want. Um, I haven't been really keeping up with tutorials lately. But I think that'll be pretty much it.